Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Lenovo LOQ15. To begin the setup, first you need to um, select the country or region. Also, if your laptop isn't turned on, then you can easily turn it on with the power key, which is here. This is the set key. Uh, and you can just click on that to um, turn on the laptop. If it's not charging, then you can plug in the charger at the pack. Um, so if the battery dies, then you can do that. Also, um, even if the battery is charged, then you may still want to keep it plugged in to make sure it doesn't discharge, uh, discharge because there may be some updates in the process while we set up, so we don't want to um, run out of power while it's being done because it may break something. So let's select the country of region. Sometimes you'll also be asked about the language, but in this case I have only one language available. So I'm gonna go to selection of the language of the country of region, then click on enter. And now uh, I'm gonna select the keyboard layout. So I'm gonna select the Polish programmers because this is which key what keyboard I use. Then I'm gonna skip a second keyboard layout, but if you want to add one, then you can click on add layout. Now uh, you, can, you can connect to a network, either the cable at the back of your laptop or Wi-Fi. And unfortunately it is mandatory to log in, uh, to connect to a network uh, on Windows 11. Mm, but this is what happens on every Windows 11 uh, device. You just need to connect to a Wi-Fi or any other network. So now I'm connected and I'm gonna click on next. So then it'll check for updates and if any are available, it'll install them automatically without my input. So if um, in, in your case it starts updating, then don't worry about clicking on anything, just don't click on anything uh, and wait until it gets to the ne next part of the setup and you can continue uh, with the same steps as me. Now I'm gonna accept the user agreement. You can also rename your device, but you don't have to, you can just skip it because if you rename it, then you'll need to restart and I don't really want to restart now. Now it checks for Windows updates again and now it also has higher probability that then it will actually install any. And now you need to click on sign in and it is also mandatory to sign in to your Microsoft account. I also don't like that, but um, it also happens on all Windows 11 devices. So let's just sign in. If you don't have an account, you can click on create one and quickly create it. Then I'm gonna enter the password. And now I think I'll be logged in. Yes. Now I need to create a pin for my account to make it secured. So a pin is also mandatory since we are logged into Microsoft account, then we cannot have a, uh, a, a a account with signed in with Microsoft that doesn't have pin on so if you later on create a second account on this device that will be local without Microsoft account then that ac account can have no password no pin or whatever but the main one always has to have the pin since uh, the main one is also always um, the Microsoft uh, signed in account now it asks you uh, for a few additional things so you can just unselect or select the ones that um, you find important or unimportant or don't want to accept something then feel free to unselect even all of them then if there is any um, backup on your account on your microsoft account from your previous devices or the same device 
then you'll be able to restore it here. So uh, if it shows this screen and you can click and you click on continue, then it'll automatically restore the backup that is selected here. But if you want to select either a different backup or uh, don't on or not restore from backup, then you can click on more options and either select the backup uh, that you want to restore it from or click on setup as new PC. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna click on setup as new PC again. And then it'll just keep the backup restoring process. Now it'll get a few more things ready. Then uh, it asks you for a few additional things like um, uh, what do you do on your laptop? So you can select these things, but I'm gonna skip it because actually it doesn't do anything. Then if you want to um, connect your Android phone with this laptop, then you can scan this QR code on your laptop. But if you don't, then um, you, you can skip it. Also, if you want to connect it with an iPhone, you also need to skip it because it can be later paired in the settings. So um, I'm just gonna skip it. I don't really want to connect my phone with the laptop. Now uh, I can back up my phone's photos to keep them safe like to my OneDrive by scanning this QR code. Honestly, I'm just gonna skip it. Then uh, there are a few more things like the uh, Microsoft 365 family uh, trial, which I don't want because it costs, uh, as you can see here, uh, $130 per year. So I don't want it. And also there is Microsoft 365 Basic, which uh, costs $2 per month. And I also don't want it. So now it says that you can use a few features for free. I'm just gonna click on next. And I think we're in. So that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.